What up guys, welcome back to the channel, man. I've been trying to keep this up, doing like little videos on Saturdays. Uh, we're not really doing any car stuff today, I don't think. Every time I mention this, I have a video like talking about my neighbors. I'm like, like when they drive by, I'm like, oh hell yeah, race car. You know, I always have somebody comment saying, well you drive like an idiot all the time. Um, I just, I wanna explain myself a little bit. So Braven and I, like we may get on it a little bit in the neighborhood. We don't like nail it all the way down our street. You know what I'm saying? We we do have common sense. Like we have common sense, you know what I mean? The problem with a lot of people and the reason why I get upset when they drive like freaking idiots through here is because they legitimately are idiots. <laughs> like I've, I've watched people go through the fence over there. So I watched a truck completely take their block wall out right there. Like it sent bricks all the way up to their front door. They've since had it repaired. One night some dude was drunk and driving a Jeep and he smashed into that wall in which he also took out the fire hydrant and the mailbox and that cable thing in which those have all been fixed. They just haven't fixed their wall. So that was this house and that house. And then over here to this one, some lady driving straight down the road just sideswiped their wall and just crashed into all this. That's why all that is missing. It's all broken. They haven't repaired it. They just kind of cleaned it up. I swear to you, I, <laughs> I watch probably at least five or six almost accidents right here every single time I am outside, man. Like people just don't comprehend how to turn through a corner, you know what I'm saying? Especially whenever there's more than one coming at a time, you get two idiots together, they damn near hit each other every single time. My point to all this is somebody hit my fence. Again, this isn't the first time somebody hit my fence. If you guys remember years ago, somebody actually turned into my driveway with my gate shut and pushed my gate all the way against my car that was in the driveway. Yeah, that's what I'm wanting to do this morning is fix this. So it's not going to be just simply like pushing it back. I got to hook the, uh, I, I got to hook the Suburban or something to it with a strap and I got to pull this out because this whole thing is completely bent. Um, these pipes are welded to it. But yeah, since this thing is kicked out, this is dropping down and the whole fence is getting loose right here and just looks like shit. But yeah, that's at least one thing that I can say for myself. You know, I know I have loud cars. I know I may go over the speed limit a little bit here and there, but I have common sense, bro. Like I know to slow down when I'm coming around a blind corner because there's more people on this world other than just me. And I most certainly have never hit somebody's fence, man. Gotta make your round top, peeing on everything. Pupper pups, what is up, dude? What is up, dude? What is up, dude? What is up, dude? <laughs> man, you're so wild. You are such a wild guy. You know that? You're so wild. Wow, there he goes. Yeah. Yeah, you heard another dog barking, huh? Like, hey, I'm a dog too. Don't pee on the frog. Don't pee on the frog. Don't pee on the frog. <laughs> you about to get wet out there, Toby. Toby, run. Toby, run. <laughs> broke my little top cap. So this thing is bent all the way down here at the concrete, so I'm gonna pull on it all the way down here at the bottom. Get, get some tension and hold the brake. A little more. All right. 
three. Shoo, good as new. Well, I mean, it's straight now at least. Squeeze my little broken cap in here. I ain't got no sprinklers on this side of the yard. One day I will. But for the time being, I gotta water this side by hand. <laughs> what sucks is this skinny ass part. And I don't know how the hell you'd put sprinklers right here, but my boy Jonathan says he's got me. He, kn he knows what to do, so I'm gonna leave that shit to him. <laughs> What we get ourselves into, bro. <laughs> yeah, so uh Braven was having some problems with the Yukon. It it wasn't not, it was just it was kind of down on power and uh started looking into it to figure out why um and said screw it, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull the head. So uh whenever he got this, as you guys know, it's got a whole cam package and everything on it uh it has like upgraded lifters uh springs and like every all the supporting stuff for a cam but he started noticing it was like kind of down on power so we said screw it and just pulled the heads completely off just to kind of inspect everything and you know worst case scenario everything looks good slap it back together with some new head studs and put some new head gaskets and everything on it bro these head gaskets were clapped man look at these guys they look like they got like a hundred thousand miles on i don't know I, I there wasn't any blow through spots but yeah, you could definitely tell they've been on there for a while. So he took the heads down to Phoenix Cylinder Head. To, uh, he was gonna have them gone through, um, have the dude like put new valve guides and and seals and just like go over it and refresh them, resurface it, clean them, you know, the whole nine yards. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pick this up on the camera, but these are the heads that came off of the Yukon. Uh, there is a crack in between the exhaust port and the intake port. There's a crack right there. Right there on all four of them on both freaking heads, bro. So yeah, that's a problem. Anyhow, Braven had an extra set of heads here and he took these down to him to have him look at those. Um, and look at all this buildup inside of here, bro. That is all freaking like hard as a ro Oh God. But yeah, that's all buildup. That's the water jacket. So it should look like this. It should be able to have water pass through it, but no, it's completely caked up. Um, and the dude inspected it and look at this hole right here i'll put my flashlight on there so you can see it better look at that freaking hole right there bro what the hell so this side is oil that side is coolant so these heads are trashed also uh if you're to put these on you would just immediately have coolant and oil mixing you know what i'm saying so uh now braven is in the market for a new set of heads in which i think he already found some yeah, I did, but look what at this. That? See the metal in there? Oh, uh, yeah. Right on the edge right there. Yeah, I accidentally took it off with my finger, but it was in there. So this one was probably just starting to uh, twist, and that's why it caught the edge right there. So I think you're good. That that might have been the noise that you're hearing. Yeah. Yeah, so on, on top of it being kind of down on power, it also had a little bit of like a, like a lifter tick going on. So that was another reason for tearing it all apart. Want to go through the lifters and check them and make sure that, you know, they're not moving around. If you guys didn't know anything about these, the trays that hold these lifters, um, they wear out and it'll allow the lifter to kind of spin. Oh my God, would you just look at you? Would you just look at you? Oh my God, would you catch Hey, Toby. Toby is the homie. <laughs> yeah, do the donuts, man. Yeah, it is just the edge. Yeah. So whenever these lifter trays start to wear out, it'll allow the lifters to spin. And if it spins, it'll start, like this part won't turn. It can get frozen up and then it'll just rub metal on metal to the cam and it'll tear the cam up, it'll tear the lifter up. So yeah, I think you guys 
like I think you tore it apart at the right time, bro. Honestly, it's because I've never heard it tick before. I did main, like I I'd just done maintenance, and I was just like, I started up and we were listening to it, and then we heard something. We were like, what's that? And then we just kind of were just like, screw it. Like, we just left it alone and then took yeah, it apart, so. tore it apart. Better safe than sorry. I think tearing this thing apart most certainly saved this boy from having to replace the entire cam. <laughs> yeah, an engine. Yeah, it would have ate your cam up real quick. Yeah, and put a bunch of shrap metal all through the oil system. Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> but the good thing is once it's all done uh he'll be up on power a little bit he, he will have a little bit more compression and stuff with the with the, the slight the slight upgrades yeah some slight upgrades well he's looking for some 706 heads so yeah, he'll so have a smaller heads. it's a smaller combustion chamber which will up the compression slightly so and then i think i'm doing the ls7 lifters yeah. and then ls9 head gaskets so all oem stuff but it's like it's like the go-to go like stuff the ls7 lifters i guess are just better than any other ones i don't know why you know i haven't experienced it myself but yeah. if you look it up that's what they tell you to get all right anyhow that's a little update on brave and yukon that you guys had no idea all this was even going on honestly i wasn't even going to tell anybody but i mean we got a YouTube channel, so we kind of have to tell you guys everything. Yeah. <laughs> the motor mounts are still good. Shoo! You better freaking replace those son of bitches while you can, <laughs> if they need it. Bro, you with the headers in here, you can't access anything. Man, you ought to replace that damn starter while you're at it, too. I actually have a brand new one. I oh, do you probably, have a new yeah, starter? I should probably do that. Yeah, the, the starter, that. engine mounts, anything that you have to access when, that, that you can't get to whenever those damn headers are in there. Yeah, do it, do it while we have access. <laughs> Bro. You, you literally couldn't get those headers out without pulling the heads. It's like you had to get the heads out of the way in order to pull the header up out of the way. It was nuts, bro. I don't know how they got those in there unless they completely like unbolted the engine mounts and lifted the whole engine or did something to get those son bitches in there. I honestly, I don't know, but I literally had to take the heads. The heads had to come completely off before I could even shimmy them out. So. Yeah, it was crazy. And even even with the heads out of the way, they were tight. Like Yeah, they were still tight, yeah. So. That's nuts. Honestly, I'm not sure. 100%, but it also means his head he's got bit like big tube long long tube uh big tube headers where are they at uh. well one thing is i don't think that they had the bottoms on so what the shimmying took i think i could have got it the bottom portion of it off. yeah so these guys right here this is dude this is what i wish i could fit on the blazer i wish i could fit this on the colorado too these will make a huge difference on the blazer and his trailblazer ss intake manifold look at this man's Yes, sir. I was thinking, should I upgrade those rockers too? At least a Trinian upgrade. True. A Trinian upgrade, it's the uh, pivoting point that the rocker pivots on. Yeah, because they have the little the little insides that blow apart. Yeah, and the little needle bearings. I guess they fall apart and it sends needle bearings all through your oil system. Yes, sir. So why you have these off? Matter of fact, aren't aren't you talking about maybe going turbo? Why don't you just let me have these? I'll put those on the blazer. Well, <laughs> then again, I want to go turbo on the blazer too. So it's like <laughs> my my whole exhaust and everything is just like well, it was fun while it lasted. If I put a turbo on the blazer, all that's going out the door. Ooh, I'ma get you. Ooh, I'ma get you. Ooh, ooh, I'ma get. Oh, don't get scared. Don't get scared. You're supposed to just run from me. It's because I have a stick in my hand. He's like, I don't know what's happening, but <laughs> bad vibes. Bad vibes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you guys are so cute. <laughs> So I wasn't expecting any Amazon packages today, but an Amazon package showed up. <laughs> Bro, 
I, I wasn't sure what it was. I already opened it. The note is kind of funny. I've already read it, so Braven knows, but I gotta read it to you guys. Love your channel, bro. I got $20 on the Blazer beating Braven's truck. Haha, <laughs> from Matt E. Interesting. Interesting. My boy about to make 20 bucks. I don't know who he's betting with, but. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <putting> money up. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. I appreciate it, bro. Thank you. I don't know what the uh, flag is. Let's uh, let's check it out. Here you go, Brevin. He's, he's in the middle of trying to find trying heads. Trying to find heads. <laughs> like, be my tripod. You're my robot girlfriend. Oh, stop. <laughs> Dude, we were just talking about whenever the day comes that you can have robotic girlfriends. And you can just be like, you know, whenever you need them, they're there. And otherwise, you can just shut them down. Tell them to go charge themselves. But then I was like, bro, she could be like a freaking tripod. Can you imagine that? The angle's weird. <laughs> the angle weird? Yeah, and the lighting's bad, so changing spots. Did it make me look flat? No, 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 no. Never that. What? It's a freaking Hoosier flag. Oh, word. What up, dog? Hey, that's sick. Why is it pink? I don't know. You can't say the G word. Sorry, just hang it up, hang it, hang it on the door over there. We don't got much room. That really is sick, but I, I am confused as to why it's pink. <laughs> I'm way too badly to have pink in my garage. The hell? <laughs> purple over there on the wall. What? It's all purple on the wall. Super clean? That's dark purple. All right, Purple's manly. Sure. It's pink. Pink is manly too. Your mom is manly. I mean, I should take that back. <sighs> Bro, take it back. <laughs> I've got three kids with a woman. <laughs> so, speaking of Hoosiers, <laughs> here's a set of Mickey Thompsons. Now, hear me out, man. I've had these things sitting around for a while. I bought them brand new for khaki. I did a, a couple pulls with Honestly, no. I don't think I ever even raced on these. They saw a little bit of street driving, and that was it. And then I took them off, and they've just been chilling for a while. They're still like literally brand new. They're just scrubbed in a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, these are, where's the size? 24.5 by eight, uh, 15 inch wheel. So the problem is, is that these were a little bit too big for khaki. Um, and they're also a little bit too small for the blazer. But I'm gonna use them on the blazer. <laughs> Screw it, man. I mean, they're just sitting here doing nothing. Why not? May as well have some fun with them, you know? So the Hoosiers that are on here right now, these are eight inch wide. These are 26.5 15s. So those are going to be a little bit shorter than these tires. So um, what I really need on here is 28s, right, Braven? I think that's what it was. Yeah, 28s is like the stand. I, I don't remember if it's 28 or 28.5, but basically 28 inches is like what you're supposed to run for like small tire class or for like no prep type stuff. Everybody runs 28. So these are most certainly uh, way too small, but like I said, I, I want to put them to use. They're just sitting here doing nothing. I mean, what else would I do? Sell them? Oh, sh I guess I could sell them, huh? Yeah. You know? Should I sell them or use them? Sell them or burn them? Dude, these things were $560, bro. <laughs> we had a drag event. Like, I mean, this was a long time ago that I like frantically went and got these from Outlaw, uh, a local shop here. Um, put these on CAC. I mean, this is the only set that they had. Um, yeah, and they were a little too big. Anyhow, I have the other two wheels sitting here. This one, I still haven't cleaned. I just grabbed this out of the backyard. And this is the other one. This one, I already like hosed it off. This is the one that we, we test fit on the front a uh, few videos back. Uh, I need to clean these up a little bit. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and mount those slicks onto these. So then I just have a play around set. You know what I'm saying? All right. 
right, look at that, baby. All cleaned up and whatnot. They still need to be uh, buffed because they're dull as shit. You know, I just realized it doesn't have any uh, things. You need the, the things inside of the freaking valve stems. You can see sunlight straight through that. What the shit, man? I don't have any valve stem cores and I also don't have the valve stem tool. Like, I, I know you can use freaking needle nose and all that stuff, but yeah. Anyhow, um, I'm gonna go pick one of those up. Also, Braven, this boy is gonna go look at a set of heads that we might buy. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna go get head. It's not the kind that I want. <laughs> small More expensive too, <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Well, we just picked up Braven's heads. Uh, <laughs> I haven't done a very good job of recording this, but there's his new heads. They're in the back seat, all wrapped up with a towel so they don't get beat up. I'll show them to you whenever we get to the house. Holy freaking crap, we have been here. We've been here for quite some time now. Um, the guys here are really cool. The guy lives here. He's got a huge ass shop in the backyard with a Model T and a bunch of other cars. I mean, like he has a huge, dude. I, I wish I would have pulled the camera out and recorded it, but I'm just one of those people that I get all freaking weird and don't want to record in front of people that I don't know and stuff like that, but it was cool. Just take my word for it. So now we're going to head home and I got to stop and find one of those valve stem tools on the way. And it's getting dark. Luckily I have headlights, just not brake lights. <laughs> we'll be fine, man. No worries. Yeah. So this guy came up on my ass back there on the freeway, bro. Was swerving and driving like an idiot. Hey, look at this. Bro, those are freaking ostriches. Zoom in. Zoom in. <laughs> bro, what in the world, man? Dude, that is freaking dumb. <laughs> that is so sick. Don't they have it together though? That's the tool. Are you sure? Valve tool, and this is the cores. I swear they had like a little kit with it together, but yeah. it is what it is. So I need the tool. I need the cores. Anything else? What is it? Oh, that's a much better tool, ain't it? Yeah. It's five dollars. How much that was one. this You're one? You're gonna lose that one. Yeah, I know. I'm Shut up. You don't know me like that, boy. Get right. out of here. Boy. You don't use the same Hell yeah. There you go. Got everything that we left the house for. We Where's lost the sunlight. Where's the sun? Yeah, it's gone. You went to China. I still got the sun right next to me. Oh, where? Right. I got mine through my pants. You're my. <laughs> <laughs> you better let them out too. Nah. Strong bitch. I got it. Our last name ends with this boy. He's got to have like five sons. I already uh, told him. Like ten. 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 Yeah. Whatever. Pull up the guy. Made it to the house, man. Good lord. I feel like we've been gone all day. Well, it's because we kind of have. No. <laughs> Now, how long were we gone? Like two hours? Four thirty. When you left? Four thirty. Four, five, six, seven. So it's like two and a half hours. Yeah, we're gone for like two and a half hours. Felt like all day. <sighs> now, I didn't even mention to you guys. I had to get the uh, valve stem tool and stuff because I plan on putting these tires on those wheels myself i'm not gonna go to a tire shop and no it's not because i can't afford to go to a tire shop it's because i i genuinely want to try bro um i was looking it up and i found like videos on youtube people doing it themselves at home and i'm like i it genuinely sounds like fun are you sniffing it did i just see you sniff your head yeah, this is a clean ass set of heads he got. These are nice. 
So they do need to go to the machine shop. Of course, he's gonna have the machine shop check and make sure that um, they, they don't need to be decked or whatever. Uh, but they have 4,000 miles on them. Like, from brand new, 4,000 miles. What did these come off again? Trailblazer SS? So they are the, what stamping? Uh, they are uh, 243 and 799. So 799 slash 243 heads, which came off of a Trailblazer SS. So, uh, so the previous owner of these heads, um, he had a Trailblazer SS that was still under warranty and he blew the engine. So uh, he got the entire engine replaced under uh, through his warranty. Um, and then he put about 4,000 miles on the new engine before he ended up pulling the factory heads off and he got like some gangster ass heads from Texas Speed. Um, that was all like ported and all crazy and shit. So these things were literally like brand new. So. Yeah, so now tomorrow in the morning I gotta go and uh, take them to the machine shop and get all the, um, get the springs. Um, I'll show you, I have dual springs for from the cam kit. I gotta yeah. put those inside of uh, these heads and get the valve seated and stuff and hopefully hopefully i don't have to get this decked again yeah that's even more money but <laughs> <laughs> right but yeah he's he's gonna take him to the machine shop tomorrow have, get them all assembled have it checked and all that and then they'll have not only uh clean cleaned up heads that are gonna flow a lot better because they're not all junked up um but it's an upgrade yeah so I, I guess these have a smaller combustion chamber as well that boosts up uh your compression ratio and i wouldn't doubt that this has a larger intake at least intake valve than what those are and almost looks like it is but yeah. it's hard to tell because it's just an open hole yeah bravens bravens heads are acquired and my valve stem tool is acquired i've never had one of these hmm along with some cores. So now let's uh, let's see if we can't install a set of tires on these wheels ourselves, right here at home with uh, hand tools. So I don't know if you guys remember whenever I did have these tires on khaki, I used to have the problem like you'd come out the next morning and they would be flat, bro. Um, this was my first time ever running Mickey Thompson's. Um, I had always ran M and H's prior to these. So I guess Mickey Thompson's are actually known for that. A lot of guys will actually run tubes inside of their tire um, to like combat that problem. Um, I remember one of you guys, a subscriber put in the comments whenever I was talking about it, that you coat the inside of the tire with Dawn dish soap. And I guess that helps the tire, like it seals it up in some kind of way to where they don't leak the air pressure like that so um i remember that and i just google searched it myself and i found a couple of different write-ups where people are talking about it so it it seems to be true bro like I, I found quite a few different people recommending it and talking about how it works so i figured i mean may as well give it a shot right <laughs> It ain't gonna hurt anything, I don't think. So that's what I'm gonna do. I got my old dish sponge here and I'm just gonna cover that with some dish soap and just do like a layer of soap on the inside of the tire. And I guess you have to let this dry before you actually mount the tire. That's the downside. <laughs> all coated inside and I guess you're supposed to let it dry so I've let them sit here for a pretty long time it's not completely dry yet but I'm sure it's gonna take me a while to get the tire on the wheel so they'll have a little bit more time for sure we're gonna use that same sponge with the dish soap and this is also going to be our lubricant All 
all right, look, I tried, all right? It was too hard. So I said, screw it. I came to the tire shop. But they're mounted now, and I don't have to worry about it. Bro, I know these are a little bit small, but I'm not gonna lie. I'm stupid ass excited to see what it feels like with those on the blazer. But anyhow, I put my damn pry bars away. <laughs> what? Slicks are different, okay? All the videos I watch, people were not mounting slicks with pry bars. They're mounting regular tires. They're, the, the sidewall is a little bit more pliable. Um, these things, bro, the sidewall is a three quarters of an inch thick. That wasn't flexing at all. Anyhow, guys, it was just a really quick Saturday video. That was my day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you didn't, maybe you just need to lower your standards a little bit. Peace out, and I'll see you guys on Monday.